Hello, it is 7 p.m. I am just going to quickly pack. I am finally seeing my friends for the weekend. It's been quite a while since we were last together, so it will be a really, really fun time. We're just gonna have like a casual pool party, just hang out and just be together because there's not really too much we can do anyway. So I'm about to pack. I am putting everything in this mini suitcase, so it's very, very convenient. So yeah, it will be a really, really fun weekend. Gonna be great for my mental health. <laughs> I finally get to see my friends. Well, that was a lot faster than I expected. So I guess I will see you guys in the morning. We will have fun in the city. currently Tuesday, a couple days after the weekend. I had a really fun time. I went to Toronto for a little bit just to hitch a ride with my friend and then we went up to a different city to celebrate my birthday and my friend Sarah's birthday. It was really really fun. Um, I had a great time <laughs> while it lasted. Unfortunately, I was only with my friends for like a day and a half, if anything. We always have a good time when we're together. Everyone was just vibing and it was really, really good. And it was just like an emotional and mental reset. In a couple of weeks, I'm gonna see my friends again for Canada Day. And we're probably gonna go to Toronto again, just because there's more things to do over there. Luckily, Ontario is getting really good with the vaccines. So I'm waking up a little bit earlier tomorrow to book my second dose. That is the gateway into going back into a normal life or a life that we used to have. But today I'm going to Toronto again, <laughs> which is um, considering that I never left the house for like six months. This is like a step forward. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put on makeup. I probably won't do too much because I am wearing a mask. Yeah, but it is crazy. Honestly, I didn't really think we would have a summer, knock on wood, makeup for that lost time. I just did my makeup off camera because it takes me like 10 years to do it. I'm gonna see a friend. We kind of just, we came up with the plans literally yesterday night. Honestly, I'm still kind of anxious when it comes to going to the city. Obviously, I'm still gonna have some anxiety towards being around people. I don't really want to go back to the catastrophic thinking. You know, if I go to this one place, then I'm definitely gonna get COVID and then these things will happen. And it's just, it's not a good way to think. I feel like if I keep on sheltering myself, it, it just, it doesn't really, it's just not realistic and it's not healthy for me personally. In the long run, I think this is a really good way to practice getting back to my normal self. 
Anyways, here's the outfit check. I'm wearing the overalls again. This outfit has been with me for years. I was actually gonna throw out these overalls. I got this on my birthday years ago uh, from Forever 21 and considering that's not even a store anymore, <laughs> uh, that says a lot about this outfit and how much I love it. It's just very youthful, it's very flirty, and it's very complimenting on my body type and it just makes me feel super cute. So this is definitely a summer vibe. You're feeling me, reciprocate my energy I know you're into me, so just let it be I know you're feeling me, reciprocate my energy I know you're into me, so just let it be Into me, into me, no I cannot get rid of you Let me take you out my I'm not sure if you guys can hear me because there's a lot of wind But I'm currently waiting outside the say Louis or Louis restaurant Whatever you guys call it, for my friend uh, they're just taking the streetcar right now and you should see the streets. It is so empty on this side But it's so pretty like there's like three people walking by. It's refreshing <laughs> I also keep looking around because I'm like, so nervous to pop out my camera and just like talk and even like film But yeah, we're gonna eat lunch. I haven't ate all day I didn't even get my coffee because my sister had to do some stuff. So we took the train pretty late But we're gonna get some food. We're gonna walk around the harbor browsing around stores and see what's up yeah that's the plan for now the city i am so tired i didn't really get to do all the things i wanted to do just because plans changed just went straight to the restaurant to meet my friend but it was still a really fun day we ate we walked around a lot and we just sat and chilled and just talked and it was really nice it was a very beautiful sunny but windy and chilly summer day which is so weird and yesterday it was like super humid and 26 degrees or something but yeah today was actually really really fun i am beat I'm going out again with my friend tomorrow for, for his birthday dinner and we're just gonna hang out and eat out on a patio. But yeah, I'm probably going to wash off all my makeup. That was a little glimpse of Toronto. There's a lot more that I could do, but unfortunately things are still closed. Things open up. I want to go to the museum. I want to go to the aquarium perhaps. Um, just do like a lot of solo fun stuff. Just appreciate, you know, art and creativity and stuff like that but we will find out soon enough that i'll be in a quite a bit i hope you guys enjoyed my little toronto vlog i am so happy to be back i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one bye